say believe, I don't mean in believe in committing sin. Do you believe there is such a thing as, a, as sin? Well, I think the greatest sin in the world is bringing children into the world. That you are earning is death. That's your wages. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So we'll share the bad news with you. And we pray that the good news will make sense. <coughs> Ladies, God is good. God is kind. God is merciful. And the truth of that is seen right now that you ladies are out here enjoying this beautiful day. That God is showing you patience. That you're enjoying this, this sun shining today, the warmth. But don't be deceived. We're all terminal. This life is short. This life that we're living is temporary. And there's only one way to have eternal life, and it's through the Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Good morning, ma'am. We've got other places you can go. We're not against health care. But notice this white privilege here. You have these white ladies out here volunteering to open the door to kill minorities because they don't want to pay taxes. So how loving and kind of them to offer to kill your children for you so they don't have to pay taxes for them. How loving and kind of them, right? It doesn't take two of you to open the door. And ladies, if it was about choice, you'd want people to come over and talk to us. The fact that you're out here trying to distract people from talking to us shows that it's not about choice. And obviously, not all choices are the right choice. We're all against jihadis hijacking airplanes and blowing them and, and flying them into buildings. That's the wrong choice. And abortion is the wrong choice because it murders a child. And this is not a gallbladder being removed. This is not a wisdom tooth being removed. Abortion ends the life of a baby. Good morning. We've got other places. We've got other places. Babies are murdered here. I'm disassembled in here. I hope you don't go in a room where they're doing that. I hope you don't do it. God's word is clear. Speak out on behalf of the voiceless and for the rights of all who are vulnerable. There's nobody more voiceless or vulnerable than these little children that are being slaughtered here. And you ladies are part of this. And you ladies will give an account for this. God's word is clear. It says in Proverbs 24, 11, rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Ladies, you are stumbling towards the slaughter. We're trying to warn you. Some people come by and they think what we're doing out here isn't loving. They say, oh, you guys are judging or you guys aren't loving people. It'd be very unloving for us to watch a blind person walk off a cliff and ignore the fact that that blind person is walking off a cliff. It would also be very unloving for us to warn you that you're not going to stand before a holy God. That this life is short. And the only way that you can be made right with the holy God is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Revelations 21.8 says, But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexual immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion shall be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. I used to wonder why cowardly and faithless was the first on the list before I started coming out here. But now I understand. Cowardice gets people killed. You employees that work here are cowardly. You don't think that God could provide you another job. And because you're cowardly, you stay here and these doors stay open and the, bird, the babies are slaughtered here. The parents that come here are cowardly. They think that they're going to have to make some changes if they have a child. They, don't, they might have to have some daycare costs. They might have to buy a bigger car. They might not be able to take as many college credits each semester. Cowardness gets people killed. There's Christians that are too cowardly to come out here and call a spade a spade. And so they quietly will just put their money towards like right to life or some pro-life group back. and they avoid ever coming out here. Oh, 
Wow. Cowardness gets people killed. How's he keeping it cold? So ladies, we urge you to repent. All that money in the world isn't going to do you a bit of good. Yeah, hey, hey, lose your soul. Ladies, if you're going in there, come talk to us first, please. We have other health care options out over here. Ladies, please don't go in there. We're not health care. We want that for you. We want that to be provided for you, but we don't want you to support a place that murders children. God says very clearly, you shall not murder. And these children are a gift from Him.